Welcome back to the research cat. We're following in on a uh, disaster here of uh, oxygen not included. And we have multiple problems. We fixed some problems that we got our water working again, but we are currently having power issues. And uh, we need to get that taken care of. Um, hopefully they are, yes. So we have somebody who is here loading in uh, the power. So hopefully we can get these power working. I'm going to bring up the power generation uh, some at least to get it started and the batteries charged. And I also need to check in on my power relays. Uh, looks like maybe this one isn't built, perhaps. Perhaps that is the problem. So let's see, well, no. Well, let's see. Let's check that power out again. So it is running. And the things on it are not, comp are, I mean, some are running. Hmm. Well, no, not really running. I mean, it's safe. These are inactive because we don't have it. And they are running, so we're gonna let it go. We're gonna keep working on our, uh, see our carbon skinners currently have no power, which is an issue. And our plumbing is our plumbing is slowly working, not very efficiently, but it is working. So we're good there. Our carbon skimmers are now working. And we're having major oxygen problems. We actually have algae, but um, it doesn't necessarily matter uh, if we don't have How about organic? Here we go. We have algae. All right. So we'll put algae in here. We have an algae, but we have maximum gas pressure. I'm kind of hoping that by pulling out this carbon dioxide into polluted water, we can reduce the um, reduce it a little bit. But we have got to also start exploring more. And I'm not. I also want to get these things operating and maybe I should just try to get this operating right now. And then once we get some more ore, we'll build, oh, we actually can do this now. So let's build on this one. We just got some of these working, but let's deconstruct this one. And as, some, some, as soon as somebody comes up to deconstruct it, we will uh, put in a new area. We also need to get an artist going. And we have one set of toilets here, and we have another set of toilets here. Um, we managed to reduce the stress last time from 100 down to 5. 
we have a sick bay that is working. So other than the oxygen problem, which is a kind of a monumental issue, can we build one more battery? No, not yet. So, and let me check these again. Um, let me bring these back up to 20. We'll keep that where it is. We'll bring this up to 20 because we're using it for our filtration system. We'll do the same with this. We have tons of that rock. We're going to need this in the smelter. We have tons of that, and this is for cooking. We're not doing too much cooking right now, but we will uh, work on that. So they do, we've got to really work on that oxygen, and I want to try to get our manufacturing level together today. I'm going to come up to here and here. So in order to deal, uh, and we actually have quite a bit of water being used here. Um, but what I would like to do, I think today's task is to try to get down a little bit lower. And as we dig this out, um, and also to the sides, the carbon dioxide should fall down here and then while it's not a perfect solution I'm going to leave this oxalite alone at the moment and I'm just going to try to head straight down. Um, I do have a little problem here so I'll come this way and then I will come down this way. So we'll dig here and then we'll dig here. And then we'll dig straight down here. And actually, if we dig this one as well, I can just drop a fire pole from here, here, and then another one down this line and we'll see what's going on down below. So let's put a, and see it looks like we have some oxygen in here, but they're little pockets. So not really the best. But I'm hoping we'll get down to something down here that we can actually use. Um, if I need to, I can come down into this oxygen, but once I start doing this oxalite, it's just all going to get used, and I would prefer not to do that right now. I'd like to save it if possible. It seems like we have the systems in place to be able to do the oxygen. I think they just need to run maybe a little bit, and we have to cross our fingers. And I'd also like to get to a cleaner um, power, but right now I don't have, I got a cold generator, but that doesn't help me out. So I'm gonna try to research the ethanol when I get a chance. Um, I don't know, the science is working on uh, something at the moment. Uh, ventilation, which is not, not a bad thing to be working on at the moment. I kind of want to monitor them down here uh, because it's when they get down into this kind of terrible atmosphere that they start to run into problems, which unfortunately is pretty much everywhere in the base. We actually have a little algae here along with some sand. So I'm going to dig out a level right here. Actually, I'll dig out this level right here. 
and then this is rust and I have to be I mean it's warm down here which is a problem but then it's super cold down here so and I know the worm is an issue but I don't really know what to do about that while the worm is bad we've distributed a lot of oxygen and we're still having issues we're just not producing enough oxygen and I know that but the things that I have to produce oxygen aren't working because I don't have uh, I've got maximum gas pressure So if I dig down here, some of this will hopefully fall down below, and then that will, the heavier gases, I mean, we still have to deal with it, but if we can deal with that on our own timetable, rather than uh, a timetable of everybody dying, that would be better. I'll erase that in a moment. We'll put this in. And then let's also clean up that. Oh, it's too much, is it? Well, let's dig those two. like to leave this hydrogen and chlorine alone I could theoretically let the hydrogen out but at this moment I don't have a good way of letting the hydrogen out without letting the chlorine out I want these plants to keep growing so I'm gonna leave it as it is there's also algae over here but these pepper plants are good for cooking and these things are important for doctoring so and all this stuff will just float to the top of the base and that's not ideal now these don't have the correct uh, temperature so I'm gonna leave them and the temperature down here while it's warmish they shouldn't die from it. It's not scalding temperatures. Um, the other thing is that as we open this up in theory, this cold will start to spread into that. It looks like it's a cold biome. So that might have some advantages. Um, we also had a problem with the hot water that was here. And I think this loop became too hot. Yes. So what we should do is address that. Let me put in a, uh, I thought it was, oh wait, that's because he went into the water. Well, or maybe it's just here. Okay, maybe I should fix that first. We don't want these heat, hot temperatures coming in there. So let me try this. I'll put in a door here. And then I'll put in insulated tile here. Actually, let me take a look at this. I'll put insulated tile in here. And... here and then put in a ladder so I can build those insulated tiles here and then I'm gonna have to look at my priorities again we have somebody on digging I don't want to mess with the research Maybe we'll take off of the farming at the moment and go to 
uh, construction, which is building. And uh, I'd like to keep the supply as it is to keep our power up. Nails doesn't have an assignment. Let's put him also on building and try to get our, our buildings together. But I'm also going to have to get some people with decent morale onto our art uh, to try to keep our stress down. Our stress has fallen again, which is good, but um, it'd be nice if somebody would fix these things. And then we'll put in a wheeze wart, which should bring the temperature down. We'll put one in maybe here. Yeah, we'll put one in there. And let's deal with that more or less immediately and we'll dig it out, we'll transport it from here. Well, I'm glad they're having fun. I mean, this is good. Have fun, keep your stress down. I mean, I filled your, I filled your bedrooms with carbon dioxide, so it, it's an issue. And is this cooling down? Because that was the other component we had for cooling down. Um, trying to cool this down with this thing and it is cooling down but I'm not sure it's strong enough to, to do this because of this water so rather than put another cooling piece there I'm going to try to put a cooling piece down here and then insulate this so the heat doesn't come in because I have two major problems right now I have uh, a heat problem in the base with the hot water, and I have a problem in the oxygen. And the oxygen's the bigger problem, but the heat will become a big issue if I'm not careful. Good. And then I need them to get this piece. And they did dig, so somebody has been doing some stuff. Now I just need them to do a little more and dig this out. I don't want to have any of my priorities be nine except for the things I absolutely need. They should be happy to work up here. There's actually oxygen. What's this, ice? Uh, you can dig that out too. I think there's polluted ice that is melting here. Okay, and then we can put down on this area, we can put the other wort here. So my farmer will eventually get to it. Huh. We're still having our power issues. We'll try to get to an ethanol generator. I 
can see I'm not able, haven't been able to get wood from this tree yet, so we'll get, um, actually, shouldn't it have like another, it should be able to do like another branch, so let's do this. Let's dig out this and then put the insulated tile here. And metal tiles will significantly increase their speed, which is good for our long commutes, but I don't want to put that on yet. I want to make sure I get my exos together first and the forges. And then we can actually use this. We'll hold that for the moment. Good. Then, It's chilly here. Oh, and there's a vent here. I wonder what that vent is. Judging by what's around, might be chlorine. And then there's more ethanol down here. Hmm. Well, let's bring and what is this? This is just a carbon dioxide vent with a little chlorine. So let's drop that ladder straight down. And let's drop this pole oops, straight down. Hand-eye coordination is Maybe not the best right here. Um, there's some salt here and rust, which would be fine. You can use rust to oxidize and get uh, oxygen, but it's not too helpful to me because um, of the maximum gas pressure. So we're going to not worry too much about it. An oxygen plant would be nice. Okay, not, narcolep not narcoleptic, so we're not taking that under our, frankly, now absurd rules. And we're going to take some more food. We're not really producing food at the moment, so it's not a terrible thing. Um, and they should store that in the, in the fridge. Did I put the fridge on a priority? No, we'll put it on a priority. We are cleaning up a lot of the carbon dioxide, getting that out of the base. And we have moved down into here, which should also reveal a little bit more. It reveals ethanol. Um, Hmm. Well, okay. Let us, and we do have this, oh, we have that working, but we didn't put in the automation. So let's put the, that in place. And we should be sending oxygen down Yes. So when this is working and it's sending oxygen down, uh, that oxygen should then be coming out here, which it is, but I would like to, you know, kind of have it. We've turned this one off at the moment. I wanted to use this as a return to send carbon dioxide down, but that's not really my problem at the moment. So, and they have cleared down to here. What else is down here? Is there anything that is useful? Yes, but I'd almost really like to find a big pocket of a vacuum right now. Um, 
Hmm. I could do where hydrogen, where these pockets of hydrogen, I could do a hydrogen trap up at the top. Um, up here someplace. I'm not sure why this is purple. Let me see. We kind of got this up here. Um, hmm. And the hydrogen would just eventually work its way up into here. We kind of have to clean it up anyway. So I guess I'll do that. If chlorine got up in here, that would work out as well. Um, so let me do that. kind of put a cap up here. Now, my idea is, and I'm not totally certain this is gonna work, so this might be a, a failed plan, but my thought is that the hydrogen will work its way up here. And get trapped up here and then I can eventually put in a hydrogen generator um, hello so let me see what is the temperature like this up here well it's hot so let's let me replace these tiles with a uh, insulated tiles. And then I don't want them to get stuck anywhere, so let's put in some ladders here. And then that should be good. Let me see if we what our power. Oh, we're not we're not done with this yet. We'll see what our power is like um, at it. We have some oxygen up here anyway because the oxygen's been coming up. But we'll try to make that trap up there. And then some of these gases can come up into there. And I don't want the gases to come into this area. Um, so let me put in a door to prevent that. That way they can be working on that. Um, I'd really like to get a seed storage as well. Um, what's our temperature on this? Oh, it's really hot over here too. Okay, let me get the, some cooling there as well. Uh, maybe I'll just relocate all of these things. I'd like to keep that going probably going to die anyway because I'm going to move this. Okay. And then let me replace because uh, it's the temperature starting to infect this area over here. So let me replace this wall. with um, and they shouldn't have to come over here pretty soon 
I'm gonna have to close this door. Um, in fact, I can get that started now. And they can come get it done eventually. And then on here, we don't have any recipes. So we built it, but we can't do anything yet. We don't have any recipes because I haven't found any reeds and I haven't ranched the Drecos enough to be able to do anything. So, okay. So we got a dig going on here. And actually, let's dig that as well. Well, we're limping along slowly. Uh, wouldn't say it's running like clockwork, but the oxygen is actually a little bit better at this moment. This isn't quite as sad as it used to be. I mean, it's still sad. Don't get me wrong. It's it's still a it's still a problem, but it actually looks like it might be going the right way. And actually, this water we have enough. I don't want to have it overfilled. So let's turn this off as well. That's kind of a cool switch. I don't think I've seen that before. It's always been switch on or off. Okay. And then that will shut the power off to our pump once somebody comes down and does it. And that will allow our uh, water to stop pumping because I don't want it to overfill here. But just at the start of the last game, we didn't have, in the, in the last time, we didn't have any water at all in here, and I was worried about getting the water. Now I have too much water. So we'll let them catch up. We'll bring up the speed, and we'll let them catch up on the tasks here that need to get done. And we'll check out, um, I'd like to get into that ethanol. This is an oxygen pocket. You know, let's, mm. let's wait on this. And they're building this which right now has oxygen, but that oxygen will be forced down when chlorine and gas get into it. Um, and it also digs out all of the slime and I'm happy for that slime to be gone. It also puts us up and we can see what's going on a little bit further up. We have salt water. Uh, Water weed is kind of like their version of lettuce. Um, hydrogen pocket, not enough to be useful. Quite a bit of ethanol though. And ethanol over here. So what we should really do is get an ethanol power plant ready um, once we get done with this. We have somebody's skill. It's nails. He's got really good morale. So I'm going to get him started on art. Since our artist died, we need a new artist. She was a masterworks artist too, so it's going to be a little challenging there. Still don't have this stuff running because of the pressure. So, not really sure how to deal with the maximum pressure. I haven't had this problem before. Hmm, an, an interesting challenge. And the fertilization, uh, it's just dirt that they need. 
I'll find dirt. We just got to get our people on supply. What I probably need to do is put another person on supply. Uh, and I guess at this moment I could have this be open. We haven't closed this yet, but we have a little time to do that. And these two are locked, so we won't have anybody. I made this mistake, I didn't have these locked and one of them just went through here and all this type of water just went flooding down into a base in an earlier build and that was not, it was a real problem. <laughs> Uh, and then we have here, let's go with increasing our digging. We're still trying to get supplies up. As you see, supplies is one of our larger problems here. This is a fertilization problem. Yeah, so what we really need to do is we need to bring in another uh, narcoleptic for um, this dirt, it is. We just need to bring in another uh, narcoleptic for supplies because they just don't have enough for supplies. We're making poor Turner here work extra hard as he's struggling to keep everything going. So let's help them out in their priorities. Let's take care of this stuff here right now. We don't have to deal with it right now, but we are going to have, want to get down into this area. Now, as we pull this, these things out, the temperature will rise eventually into this um, as the heat pushes into it because it's all of these things here that is keeping this biome cool. This looks like another decent biome over here though. So we should probably make some effort to get into here, although I want more carbon dioxide in my base, not at all. And then we had that Weeswort was under the other tank, maybe? Yes. So let's put, whoops, this wart, plant it here, and then let's have them prioritize that one. And where did this extra water come from? Oh, because they replaced it here. All right, let me let me locate that water. Let's clean it up. Ah, oh, the gas pressure did enough that it let out a little bit of oxygen there. You know, I should really replace these. We did get those fertilized. We now have that going so that should start cooling down this and let's also remove this. Um, it's not still leaking, so this is just, we got too much water up here. And our toilets are working fine. 
and that should keep the germs down. Um, I do not typically have problems with germs, uh, but part of the reason I don't have a lot of problems with germs right now is because I have carbon dioxide throughout the base, which prevents germs from forming, but that's not necessarily the best solution in the world. Um, this is really filling up faster than I can use the water. I have more water than I can use. Well, I'll deal with that in a moment. Let's see what we have in our power here. So liquids is here. What is this? This is a desalinator and an ore scrubber. Um, Hmm. Well, let's come down to, let's go up to power. Where is our power? Here it, here it is, here's power. So this would be natural gas, oil, petroleum. And this would be hydrogen, the power shut off. Maybe ethanol has to be changed to a different well if I research all the technologies and there's a sauna huh and solar panels and a steam turbine boy that'd be nice for some of my hot areas all right let's do this let's create um, we have hydrogen already in the base. That's an oil well. So let's get that built right now. And then maybe we'll end up building all the technologies and then figuring out how the heck to work it if we don't die of oxygen starvation on the way. I could look, simply look it up and see how you can use it, but I like to try to figure the things out on my own and then come back. And then usually after I have a failed game, I go out and I say, well, let me see how I would have approached this problem. And I usually like, oh, that's so obvious now that somebody has told me how to do it. And then I go and I play another game and I have a different problem. We're actually still building food up and we don't even have anybody doing the farming right now, so I don't know. Um, and I'm thinking we should move that switch now. We don't really need to move the switch. We'll just put another switch in place. Well, maybe we should move the switch. Let's put, I think it's under power. We'll put a switch in here on this side. And then this switch here will deconstruct. And let's also have priorities. Let's get them to do this piece right here. That'll cool this down. And I really should put some oxygen over on this side. Um, usually I don't use the electrolyzers, but I think I am gonna use the electrolyzers right now because I have too much water as it is, and that will take care of some of my water. 
So that's under oxygen. And they use up a lot of, they use up a lot of uh, water. And put in a little platform underneath. And then we need to get some power, but we already have power here. Uh, not that it's great power. And we already have plumbing here. So the plumbing is coming from here on this loop. We'll send a little piece of that up here. Um, and in order to dig out that pipe, they'll need this here. Actually, I'll take that off as well. Because this water could very much come up here to, to uh, come over all of this area here. Now I probably will not be able to get oxygen immediately on this side of the base simply because I probably have maximum gas pressure here too. Um, and I have water here. So we'll clean that up. Too much liquid. Well, let's not do that one, but we'll spread out and then we can probably clean it up. We do have now this going. So let's prioritize this line. Um, let's just get this done. Um, new prints, huh? All right. Uh, not narcoleptics, so we're not going to take them, which gives us thimble reed seeds. These might be the ones that we need to plant for... Uh, let's... Oh, not that. The seeds, thank you. Um, hmm, I think they get planted in water. I might have to create a little water thing for them and plant them if they're what I remember them as being. I'm not really sure where to plant them either. Actually, I already got the water down here, don't I? Cancel this build. Let's dig this, and then we can put in uh, hmm, I how I'm going to do this. Let's put two up on either of these and then let's put in our food let's put in a little line oops a little line here of this that'll raise the water up and then we can plant the seeds now I'm not sure this is the right temperature or not 
it might be too cold. Uh, but with the way things are heating up, well, might not be a problem pretty soon. Yeah, by the time it gets up and set, I think this will be fine. Particularly because this heat is spreading this way. And the stress is good still. I'm happy with that. They apparently don't mind don't feel a lot of stress about having no air. So let's see if we can assign some skills. Rowan, we'll put in construction. Stinky, we'll put in ranching. Stinky's morale is great. Maybe they're just like, hey, no oxygen, that's excellent. I like a challenge. So we have come almost to the end of the next session and we are still just kind of limping along. Uh, slowly. How is our oxygen now? Well, it's still bad. Um, I would be interested in finding out if we can get... I'd like to get this done, but in this session I'd really like to finish it and get this little piece done too. so that I know if this works or not. Because if we divide our base into three vertical sections, the middle, the left, and the right, each section kind of needs its own air area. Now we've also made it so it's really hard to get into this area here, but we don't have anything there. I'll probably put a floor in eventually here. But I feel safer with this um, built. I, they probably just can't get there. Let's try that one there. Um, but I feel safer so that this water doesn't come in and flood the base that way. And it might be... Um, We might be in better shape. They probably can't also reach here. Put that in place. And then for here, what? don't do that. On this, let's lock that door. 
And let's see if the, the thimble reads here. They are what I thought they were. So you just have to get them to stay alive here. They have to be partially submerged in water at least. we can do is put a bottle emptier here and then we can put some water down into here See, we got maximum gas pressure. I was afraid of that problem. But this way, they won't go out into here anymore. The switch is now inside of this, and we have a, uh, a temperature barrier over here. So we have managed to kind of close off one. We're cooling this down. You can see where the contents are really hot and then they get a little cooler. Um, they're still too, it's still too hot when it comes up here, but we do have some cooling here going. So hopefully I'll be able to get this cooled down. And um, let's get this turned off before we have an overflow. And down here, we've dug quite a bit down uh, to see what's going on down here. And what we have is that neutronium thing we want to look up. I kind of forget where it is. Um, we saw it on the temperature overlay. Here it is. And we'll see what this thing is um, next week. Uh, it's neutronium, so it's here. We'll go across. For it, and then we will also... Uh, oh, this hydrogen generator. Let me get that up here. Where did I put my cap? We'll put the hydrogen generator up here. We don't really have to worry about it quite yet because I don't have the hydrogen. Um, but we'll have it planned ahead. And then let me just stick a uh, set of tiles across here. And we'll find out what this uh, is and then whatever it is We'll put those, um, we don't need those tiles. We'll put these tiles across. When we dig it out, we'll find out what's going on. So we still have the oxygen problem, but we've limped along through another episode at least of oxygen not included with very little oxygen. And we'll see next time what we can do. Oh, and we have food that is decayed, which is not so good. Because all of our food stores, well, this food store isn't, has no food in it. We just don't have enough people on supply and storage. <sighs> okay, I will see you again next week. If you liked the video, please, um, 
let me know put a like down or on a future run through uh, you can tell me on how I might possibly solve this problem because this won't be a unique problem I'll have to research it out and figure out what exactly is uh, going on to deal with the maximum gas pressure because it's the gas it's the pressure that's causing the problem I can't produce new oxygen because I the oxygen has nowhere to go and we have a ton of food so I don't know you can tell me how to solve this particular problem and I if you find that this is something that you like or you would like to see more of uh, Put those comments down below. Take care.